The ninth category, messengers to the masses. There are two channels that come to mind for me that frequently break and share the news of new models. Two channels often get the first rides on the bikes. That is, the Missenden Flyer and Motobomb. Please feel free to comment on your favorite channel in the comments section. There will be a link to the channel or channels mentioned pinned in the comments section. I would encourage you to visit these channels, like and subscribe if you like them too. The first of these videos is Motobob with 246,000 subscribers in just over 6 years. Remarkable progress. He has 592 uploads and has almost 75 million views. He does the best of comparisons and a lot of models and he does a really good job with that. Best sport, best retro, best adventure, best naked, and he does many many more of these reviews. He frequently gets to talk directly to the manufacturers and engineers. He goes to and unveils uh, unveilings at such as Eichma and Motorcycle a lot Motorcycle Live. He does test does a few test rides at launches like the V85 TT. Sometimes he shows the beginners bikes which bikes are good to start with at a certain price. He gets the first rides on so many new models. Motobob didn't start with a lot of space, just a small storage space for a couple of years, at no, at least the three first three four years, even when it got a little bit of a uh, larger space, it wasn't that much larger than the first space, until about nine months ago, when it got this larger space, which is really nice. Like the next moto vlogger in this video, Moto Bob doesn't claim to be an expert rider, but he he does digest new information and provides the viewer with a clear understanding of the positive and negative points of the motorcycles he's showing. And I rely him on him a lot as well as well as the second moto vlogger in this video. The second and last moto vlogger on this video is the Missenden Flyer TMF. TMF has over 238,000 subscribers and over 81 million views and 1174 uploads. So he's been busy over the last 14 years. He has a short and he has short and long-term access to motorcycles and a variety of bikes in the UK. He also occasionally is in the front of the line to get the first rides on new models like this BSA 650. He does product reviews and as you can see in the picture he's not afraid to poke a little fun at himself and be clever in doing it. He and his wife frequently take us along with us with them on tours across all across the world he ventures sometimes into doing project bikes but it, not necessarily that he does them himself he has ideas and he isn't afraid to show you when things go right and when things go wrong he has a pilot license and that's part of the Missenden flyer because he lives in Missenden and he has is a flyer and he sometimes does videos combining both the airplane and the motorcycle content, which is pretty interesting. He is a bit of a fashionista. And at the end of the videos, sometimes he does only what he does. And I'll let you listen to a little bit of that and tell me what you think. <laughs> so, thanks for sticking around. To the fashion segment then. A lot of people often ask me, when you see me on the bike, what is it that the various bits of kit that I'm wearing? So, to save uh, me answering all those comments, I'll give you a quick run, run down the kit you see me wearing today. First off, you saw the helmet. Now that is my uh, Shoei NXR. It's not a helmet I often uh, wear when I'm riding the um, adventure bikes. I often wear my Array Tour X4. You would have seen that before. Uh, but the NXR is my sort of favorite vlogging helmet, if you like. So that's what that's about. Neck buff, of course, can't forget that. This is uh, 
model zone neck buff. This is the uh, TMF neck buff available from our website, which is www.themissionfly.com. Just eight quid. Get them in quick while you can. Uh, you can get them on the website as well. Uh, sort of a thin thing, ideal for in the summer, like it is today. Uh, just wearing that only, and then my jacket. Talking about the jacket, like I said, he's not afraid to poke fun at himself, and and uh, sometimes people make fun of him because of that. He takes us on breakfast rides with his friends. He has ridden a, a motorcycle th at the Goodwill uh, Goodwood Festival, which is pretty pretty important and hard to do. He's interviewed uh, on his channel motorcycle icons like Alan Milliard. Yeah, he has done with Norley and Fort Nine and Teapot One. Sometimes he does combined videos with people like Lamb Chop Rides and Teapot One. He does a monthly review of the important news items in MCN. And it takes about 45 minutes. He goes through that and kind of points out the things that they're, they're reviewing for a lot of us that don't get an MCN newspaper. In 2021, he's supposed to be, and most of you won't know this, he's supposed to be a co-writer with me at the Bonneville Speed, Speed Week on my th Thruxton arm. And we're all set to go except for the COVID-19 kind of scuttled that. Like I said, Andy unfortunately takes a lot of grief. Some of it good and not so good natured from other motorcycle vloggers. And sometimes they sound a little jealous of his success. And many of you know what I mean by that. However, I view him as a trusted source of information of motorcycle news and about new models. His reviews always seem to be fair and well thought out. Motobob and the Miston Flyer are my two favorite motorcycle messengers for 2022. Join me and my friends at Flat Cap Cafe Racer for riding and racing. Please subscribe.